Both walking and resistance training are incredible forms of exercise for people over the age of 60. But when it comes to improving your health, which one is the winner? Well, a new study has revealed the answer, and in today's video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Now, walking is one of the best forms of exercise for people over age 50, and one of the favorite hobbies of my audience. But is walking enough to keep you strong and independent? Well, a new study set about finding out. The study we're talking about today is a 16-week study from 2022, which took a group of women with an average age of 65 and split them in half. Half of them walked and the other half did resistance training. And both groups did their form of exercise twice a week for 50 minutes. So what were the results? Well, at the end of the study, both the walking group and the resistance training group had improved their markers of physical capability. But the difference was only the resistance group had gained strength and they'd gained 66% on average in terms of leg strength, whereas the walking group had stayed the same. The resistance group had also gained in measures of independence and mobility that are vital to keep you strong and fit later in life. So which of these forms of exercise is better? Well, the answer is you need both. Both of the groups in this study got better in terms of physical capabilities, and walking helps you to stay mobile and active on your feet, whereas resistance training is great for keeping you strong and independent. So if you want the best of both worlds, just like I recommend, here's what you should do. First, you're gonna exercise on five days each week, and you're gonna break it down like this. On three of those days, you're gonna do some form of resistance training. And then on the other two days, you're gonna do two longer walks. Let's start with the walks first. Now, this is the easy part. All you're gonna try and do is do an additional 60 minutes of slow walking or 30 minutes of fast walking on each of these two days. So take what you normally do and add this on top. And if you can't do 60 minutes all in one go, break it down into three 20 minute chunks. Or if you can't do 30 minutes of fast walking, you could do three 10 minute walks. Both of these, by the way, have been proven in the research to be highly beneficial. And then we'll talk about your resistance training days. So what you're gonna do on these days is just 30 minutes worth of resistance work. And I'm gonna show you the best exercises to choose from right now. So before I show you the exercises, I just need to make you aware they're not suitable for everyone. Please do get checked out before you try them and avoid any that cause you pain. One of the best exercises you can include in your routine if you want to build muscle and strength as well as improve your walking is the dumbbell shoulder press. So it's a really simple exercise to do. You just need two weights. You're gonna shuffle right to the edge of a chair, bend down and pick up your weights and rest them on your knees. You're gonna bring your dumbbells up one at a time like this. And then the movement is simple. Keep your back up nice and straight and push those arms overhead and then slowly come back down. So we want to go one, two, up, one, two, down. And with all of these exercises, the key here is to work to the point of fatigue. You need to keep going until you feel tired in the target muscles. So for example, in this exercise, it would be all around your shoulders and the backs of the arms. You wanna keep going until you've only probably got two repetitions left in the tank. So that last one should be like, oh, really straining to get back up, straining to control it back down, and then putting the weights back down. That is a great set and means you've worked it to the correct degree. So that's the first exercise I'd recommend. But if you're enjoying this routine and you want something more comprehensive, where you can follow along with me at home in real time as I coach you through every rep, the best thing to do is to check out my Lifelong Mobility Program. It's a big library of exercise routines done in real time that you can copy along with me as I do it on screen and you can check it out using the description box below this video. This next exercise really is one of my favorites for any over 50s resistance training routine. It's called the goblet squat and here is how it looks. You just need one dumbbell for this and you're gonna hold it like this with your palms up, tucking the dumbbell in towards your chest. If you don't have a dumbbell, you could use a bag filled with books, just something heavy that you can hold. And this exercise works your quads and your glutes, some of the most important muscles in your legs for remaining strong and independent. So what we're gonna do here is keep your feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna stick your bottom out and bend your knees, keeping your back straight. 
sink down as far as you can and then come back up again. If you've got bad knees, you don't need to go right into pain, just stop before you hit the point of pain. And again, just like with the other exercise, you're gonna keep that movement going until you start to feel fatigue in your target muscles. Have a one minute break between sets, do two or three sets, and then we can move on to the next exercise. The next exercise I've got for you is another one that works the shoulders. This is called the lateral raise. So you need two light dumbbells for this. You're gonna stand up nice and tall like this, and the exercise is simple. You're just gonna raise your arms out to the sides and then come back down. Now, if it hurts you to go directly out to the sides, you can allow your arms to just drift slightly ahead. That's totally fine and doesn't sacrifice any of the improvements here. But the key here is to be nice and controlled. So two seconds up and three seconds on the way down works really, really well. You'll feel all those muscles on the outside of your shoulders working. We call those the deltoids, but it also works your rotator cuff super important for over 50s so give that a try as part of your program and by the way if you're enjoying this video please do hit the subscribe button it's totally free it's just below this video and it will mean that you'll be the first to hear about our new videos when they come out it also helps the channel to grow so thank you if you do that the next exercise to include in your routine is one that works the back of your body your lats and your rhomboids which live all the way around the back where I can't quite reach and they also work your bicep too so this is a great exercise for you to try at home it's called the dumbbell row you just need a chair propped up against the wall with the back facing you and a dumbbell on the floor you're going to step back with the side to be worked put the supporting hand on the chair and let this one hang down and grasp the dumbbell and just let it hang and the exercise is like this you're going to pull up like this until the dumbbell touches your body and then let it come back down so this is the movement here up and touch the body and then back down i always think of this as like starting a lawnmower okay you know those cords the startup cords you can use you want to imagine you're pulling that cord touch your body like that and then come back down so it's just your arm and your shoulder blade doing the movement you want to hit somewhere between 10 and 20 repetitions on each side couple of sets and then i'm going to show you the final exercise the final exercise is a guilty pleasure for many people. It's the bicep curl. And it's a nice one to just finish your workout with to give you stronger and more defined arms. So what we're gonna do is pick up two dumbbells like this, hold them here with your arms by your side, and you're just gonna bend your elbows and turn your hands upwards as you lift the dumbbell and then put it into reverse. Couldn't be any easier. Just gonna turn like this and then back down. So at this point, the thumb is facing forwards and at this point, the fingers are facing towards you. You should feel it at the front of the arm in that all important bicep muscle there. And again, just keep going until you get that working fatigue in your arms. Couple of sets of that to round out your workout. And that is a fantastic way to get stronger, add muscle and improve your independence. So hopefully you will give this a try. You're gonna combine walking with resistance training. These are two of the most important exercise types for people over 50, in my humble opinion. If you're gonna give this a try, please drop a comment below and let me know. Do share this video with someone else who might benefit as well, because that is how this channel grows. Thank you if you do that. There's another video on the screen right now to show you how to build even more strength. So click on that if you're interested, and I'll see you next time.